Hello everyone, my name is Jo Boundy and I'm the Head of Digital and Internal Communications at Qantas, which includes looking after the Qantas social media team. Thank you for the opportunity to present to you today, albeit virtually. We are delighted to be shortlisted in simplifying social media awards and we would love to be there in person to present our entry. Ironically, we're unable to attend due to another crisis, so in the spirit of digital, we've decided to share our submission by video. On the 4th of June 2011, a relatively unknown volcano in Chile began erupting. Little did we know the impact this would have on our newly formed social media team over 7,000 miles away. By the 15th of June, a dense cloud of ash was still erupting nine kilometres into the air, with the ash cloud spreading across the southern hemisphere. For those not familiar with aviation, volcanic ash can be very damaging to an aircraft. Tiny particles of rock, glass and sand contained in the ash cloud can be sufficient enough to jam aircraft engines. Safety is the number one priority at Qantas, and so, as the ash cloud headed towards Australia, the decision was made to close several ports, resulting in hundreds of cancellations and thousands of disrupted passengers. Having launched our Twitter suite only months earlier, this was the first real test of our social media capabilities during a crisis. In fact, the closure of various ports over a 15-day period had the biggest single impact to Qantas customers in our 90-year history. Over 120,000 customers were affected. Given the magnitude of the situation, traditional customer service channels struggled with the influx of inquiries. So, Qantas turned to social media to help broadcast real-time updates and respond to customer inquiries within minutes. Social media sites, in particular Twitter and Facebook, were identified as the perfect channels to provide this service and as a result reduce the number of calls to customer service and ease the emotional stress of our Qantas customers. The social media response team throughout the Ash Cloud crisis comprised of three staff members from the corporate communications team, the dedicated social media advisor as well as two communications advisors. During the height of the crisis, the team went from 6am to midnight, during which times they were dedicated to response within both Facebook and Twitter. The two channels were not only used for real-time updates about flight cancellations and delays, but also as a medium for conversation and response to customer inquiries. During the period, every question direct to Qantas that came through Twitter and Facebook was answered, and almost always within 15 minutes. Flight updates were also posted within minutes of a decision being made and customers were publicly directed to Twitter and Facebook pages for the latest information. Our website, Qantas.com, also played an important role in the social media response strategy, with affected passengers being frequently directed to our major disruptions page and a shortened URL link was posted on both Facebook and Twitter. Twitter is perfectly suited to crisis management and frequent communication, and it proved to be the best tool in the Qantas communication arsenal throughout the Ash Cloud crisis. It was so effective that there were hundreds of Qantas customers who signed up to the site purely to follow at Qantas Airways and at Qantas Media accounts and find out information about their flights. This phenomenon was truly remarkable and previously was unheard of in the social media space. During the height of the crisis, when almost the entire domestic network was grounded, the at Qantas Airways account exceeded the Twitter limit twice, and the at Qantas Media account exceeded the Twitter tweet limit once. And actually on this occasion, it was when it was being used to substitute the at Qantas Airways account, which had been disabled due to exceeding the tweet limit. This was also previously unheard of in the social media space, at least within Australia. The at Qantas Airways account grew by 68% in two weeks. And during the Ash Cloud situation, the account received an average of 370 mentions per day and sent an average of 200 tweets per day. This represented an approximate increase of 300% in mentions and 360% in tweets during the 16-day period. Having tweets retweeted is a great way to gain extra followers and essentially acts as an endorsement of, of the content. 
Sentiment improved on our social media pages with 64% of tweets being positive and 36% of tweets being negative. Not only did the activity considerably increase the amount of retweeting, gain, retweeting, but it also gained hundreds of followers for the Qantas account. It, improved, it proved invaluable in spreading important information and was another benefit of using the channel for disseminating updates. As previously mentioned, the overall sentiment of tweets during the time was extremely positive. In particular, these positive messages resolve, revolved around the airline's safety priority and the level of customer service that we were giving our customers, particularly with the response on Twitter. Whilst it was impossible to tag all tweets during this period, with sentiment given the, vol the sheer number, the proportion that we tagged did show, as mentioned, 64% positive and 36% negative. There were also a number of potential PR issues which, would, which we used Twitter for throughout the crisis to diffuse issues. There were various celebrities travelling and they, the, we were alerted to them being on flights or, or delayed through Twitter. We also created a hashtag for any safety related tweets which was hashtag safety first. This was trending in some cities when it was first introduced. In fact, at Qantas Airways was also trending in some cities when uh, their port was closed due to the ash cloud. This was another successful way the account was able to gain more followers and promote the safety, the safety message. Facebook proved to be another effective communication channel to utilise during the crisis. Through the volume of customer inquiries on the channel, although the volume of customer inquiries on the channel was lower than Twitter, the statistics outlined below suggest it was still an integral part of the social media strategy. It is particularly important given the much higher percentage of Australians using this channel in comparison to, to Twitter. As a result, the reach within Australia was also much greater. On Twitter, we had a 12% increase in Facebook fans over a two-week period and the 42 posts that we put up during the ash cloud crisis attracted a huge total of 3.2 million impressions for ash cloud posts with a predominantly negative, sorry, predominantly positive sentiment. Like Twitter, the overall sentiment was fairly positive and though the current monitoring software does not allow sentiment tagging for Facebook posts and comments, it was clear that the majority of people were supporting our decision not to fly for safety reasons and commending the social media response. Qantas also used YouTube throughout the Ash Cloud crisis. It is a fantastic channel for brand awareness and perception and it was identified that it was the perfect channel to communicate to Qantas customers and the Australian public the reason why we grounded our flights as a result of the ash cloud. The video starred Alan Milne, our Head of Operations, and Captain Peter Wilson, who is Qantas's Chief Pilot. Both came together to discuss the factors involved with making the decision to, to not fly during the ash cloud. The video has so far attracted over 15,000 views, 59 comments, 72 likes and 4 dislikes, with customers really appreciating the transparency and explanation behind our decision of safety first. Qantas also, Qantas's dedicated presence on social media throughout the ash cloud crisis gained exposure through media, blogs and hundreds of tweets. The use of social media was able to attract favourable coverage on Qantas's customer service despite many customers being unable to reach customer service through our traditional channels. So in conclusion, the use of social media to provide consistent and timely updates and information to Qantas customers and the Australian public for the duration of the ash cloud situation proved to be an extremely successful strategy. By dedicating the company's Facebook page and Twitter accounts to not only disseminating relevant information but also answering all customer inquiries, Qantas was able to help thousands of customers who were unable to get the information they needed through traditional channels. Overall, the ash cloud situation proved that social media is an essential tool to utilise to provide customers, news entities and the Australian public with information and updates. It is clear that it, is, that it only becomes more crucial during periods of considerable disruption and should continue to be utilised as much as possible in future crises. 
Thank you again for the opportunity pre to present to you today and good luck to all the nominees involved in the Simplifying Awards. Thank you.